So just about everyone who can is working from home these days. So my girlfriend Riri asked us to share our work at home space for her Facebook and Instagram page. In this video, I'm gonna show you our very different work at home spaces. Stick around, cause mine is pretty eclectic. But first, I wanted to tell you why you should go check out Riri's Facebook and Instagram page. In her series, she will be including on how to make a master to-do list, on how to develop a routine, how to stay connected, and most importantly, how to take breaks. I don't know about you, but I could sure use some information like that. So let's get started and check out the Westcott's work from home spaces. Don't ask me about the Westcott's. Currently, my husband is continuing his job in software sales from the basement. He added some makeshift items. Let's go check it out. So this back area, we we're actually going to set up as a guest suite. So we got everything all emptied out and ready to move furniture and bedding down here. But right now, it's serving as my hubby's makeshift work from home office. <laughs> yes. So we put in a lamp, not really a desk, but a side table that seems to serve him well. Now my daughter was the first in the household to get affected by the shutdown when schools abruptly closed. Now she's pretty comfortably set up in her room. Let's go take a look. This is gonna be real quick because she has classes starting in about 15 minutes. So her work from home space is basically her room. So here she is set up at her desk, her inspiration for one day when she'll be able to travel again. Everything that she has was within reaching distance. Uh, what's the key to having a work from home space? Quiet. I mean, I think the best thing is kind of having a space where you can like, that's kind of closed off from everyone else or like whoever you're with and just being able to kind of come into the, your little, little bubble and kind of just focus and like limited without, with no distractions. Sounds good. Okay. Well, you enjoy class. Have a good day at school. <laughs> from home space is a little more fluid. I'll have to give you some background in just what I do. I'm an anesthesiologist and my group's primary facilities are Monday through Friday outpatient elective procedures. So with the shutdown, our cases drastically decreased and most places shut down completely. So currently, I'm covering call at a small community hospital who found themselves short in staff for coverage for the OR, labor delivery, the ER, and emergency intubations in the ICU. My call there is only once to twice a week. And realistically, I can't work from home. But I did decide to use this time to crank out some content for my YouTube channel. So I want you to go ahead and subscribe right now. So my job isn't the typical sit down at a desk type. As you can imagine, it involves going from OR to OR, ICU, labor and delivery, pre-op to post-op. And my work at home space reflects just that. So if you had a job like mine and now you're at home trying to be a creative, this may actually work for you. I call it office in a bag. All my work equipment is pre-packaged and ready to go. So after my workout and shower, I simply grab my office and get started. Nice days, I could even take my office outside and when it's time for editing, I set up shop in the kitchen. Fancy, but it works for me. Now it's your turn to share your work at home space with us. So first, I want you to tell me about your work at home space in the comments below. And then I want you to go check out Riri's Instagram and Facebook page, which I will include down below to get more information on working from home and how to stay motivated. Let her know how you're doing. Tell her I said, hey. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.